Okay, hey everyone. In that video, I'd like to um, go deeper into BuddyPress WooCommerce vendors and what it can do for you and your shop. With BuddyPress and WooCommerce vendors in combination, you have a socialized marketplace and you give your vendors a profile and a place where your customers can contact your vendors or have the different interactions from support to what is in your creativity because in the moment where you have BuddyPress enabled, you have all the functionalities of social network and um, user binding stuff easily to your hands, like point system or make your website become more gamified or more open, transparent, easy to communicate, whatever is important for you can be afforded with BuddyPress WooCommerce vendors by bringing the popular WooCommerce vendors plugin into BuddyPress. And it also enables you, instead of having multiple shops on your site, which can confuse uh, users to just have profiles with the products of the vendor of the member and even give them a different member type and then display a different profile or give them more options to customize their profile so it is similar to a shop page but still in the ecosystem of your site. I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's check it out. Um, let's first use the free version. So what we can see here is a dashboard and in the free version um, you're not able to turn off tabs in the pro version you are able to turn off the sub tabs in the member profile we can see that later in wordpress we have rules and capabilities and in bodypress we have member types and for this we have created this tab it's called rules and in the free version it enables you to create a new member type vendors for all your vendors and uh, in the pro version you can um, change the names even and create a vendor directory so in your member directory you have also the possibility to filter just for vendors the member type vendors this is all your member types if you already have in your body press community different member types like students company or whatever you can select these here and then they automatically also become vendors and product creation can be done by BuddyPress WooCommerce vendors with Buddy Forms or with the vendor marketplace itself. And that's what we write here. And if you want to have specialized product forms of one product type, it makes sense to use Buddy Forms. If you just want to have all the fields like they are available in WooCommerce, um, into a front end form i think the hookomers marketplace is okay they also have some checkboxes to show and hide different parts but if you want to have really customized and clean nice looking forms for your product creation check out buddy form with deactivating links we we go into the hookomers marketplace and just disable things they bring into and which maybe don't make sense if you use buddy forms and or buddy press sorry for example the store link if you decide that the profile for your members is enough for your store because you use also buddy forms and buddy forms you can make lists under your member profile under your vendor's profile to display his products and then you maybe want to turn off the visit store link this is the same for a visit profile sold by this is a link to the vendor and contact vendor link that uh, depends on your needs redirect is a quite interesting tab because if you have a vendor marketplace and if you use BuddyPress you have already a nice profile and why they should go into your admin backend. Close the admin backend and then it will be a more user-friendly experience not to go into a backend and do everything they need from the front end and from the member profile. Sign up and registration forms. That's also one point and it is a big one. With a normal body press registration and the normal hookers vendor registration, you have a not beautiful, cluddy, unstructured way of register people. And it's a lot of work to make that nice if you start hacking templates. With this plugin, 
and body forms, you are able to create super nice registration forms, assign member types or rules, make them a vendor or not, and even create different profiles, profile forms for different member types so that a vendor has other fields than a subscriber or a customer and get a different experience and is easy to bring into your site because you can do something like funneling people just ask for minimal information send them an activation link bring them to another page where they enter other information and make them wanting to give you information by taking that step by step like funneling and then in the end give them points or whatever show them their nice profile or shop or whatever that is quite uh, important and most of the time overseen by people. Yeah, and this is where you get the pro version which comes with quite a lot of more stuff and I will make another video f about it because it's already a long one. And I will also show the front end and how all works in the front in another video. Thanks for watching.